Hey guys, how about we clean some seatbelts today? I know I've done a video or two on seatbelts before, um, assisted by the steamer in one and a few products. I don't remember um, which I did in those. But today we will be assisted by the Matrix uh, coffee stain um, spot remover. This is uh, another chemical in the Matrix line for spotting carpets, upholstery, fabrics, you name it. Uh, so we will be assisted by this today. A perfect opportunity came in with some very light colored seat belts that are pretty nasty. Um, now the system with this is you have to get it completely clean first. Keep cleaning it until the um, dirt is completely removed and only the stain remains. Uh, then you apply this to the fabric, carpet, or upholstery and let it dry completely and repeat until the uh, stain is gone. Then go over it with, um, if you're doing that on a carpet, use the extractor. Um, if you're doing it on seats, you can also use the um, extractor or the steamer. Uh, on seat belts, you could just um, use the steamer or uh, a microfiber, a wet microfiber towel and uh, remove the, any kind of residue that's left over from, it, from this product here and you're done. We have a tan colored seat belt and as we pan up here we will eventually run into stains, probably body wheels, whatever the belt has come in contact with and uh, I believe we will be able to remove all of this. The driver's side isn't any better, actually maybe a little bit worse, especially as we pan down here. It is, you can see this dirt is worked its way deep down into the fabric and has left some uh, pretty substantial stains, but uh, I believe we we'll be able to remove these. Directions indicate applying the product after the spot you're trying to remove is thoroughly cleaned. Uh, but after using it for quite some time, I found applying it before and after really um, increases the chances uh, of removing the spot, the stain, completely. So I will apply this first, then I'll, I'll apply a cleaner depending on what I'm trying to clean. In this instance with this seat belt I always find uh, the Tide Cold Water Clean works well in um, penetrating the fabric and breaking down and lifting the dirt or stain that may be in that fabric. Um, the fabric in seat belts are wound so tight it's one of the the reasons it makes it so difficult to remove dirt and stains from the uh, from the area from the belt. And here is the Tide Cold Water Clean. I don't go crazy with it. I just put a nice layer on both sides of the belt so it penetrates both sides and kind of meets in the middle and starts working on that dirt or stain. So I've noticed that this attachment works well on uh, quite a few things. Uh, carpeting, some upholstery, but especially on seat belts just because of the way it's shaped and also because of the stiffness of the bristle. The bristles are soft enough that they don't fray the material you're trying to work on or clean. Um, but they're also firm enough that they get some work done and it's aggressive enough to, to get out uh, and remove dirt and stains. Seat belts are made of 100% polyester. They're tightly woven and they consist of 300 warp strands and one weft strand and it is a hefty enough um, material that it can support three metric tons. So you can sort of imagine um, how dense the fabric is, how tightly it's woven, and why it's so hard to remove any kind of dirt or stains. So we come in with the attachment and we're gonna run it down the entire length on both sides and we'll just uh we'll take slow arm motions because uh, it, it takes a little bit of of time to remove all the crap that's in there but it is very effective so essentially we are double teaming the seat belt with 
the um, drill brush attachment for the dirt on the surface and then the matrix coffee stain and spotter to neutralize the color of the stain both on the surface and deep down in as far as it can penetrate. Now, um, if you have cleaned the belt and all the stains are gone from the cleaning and the first treatment, you're good to go. The stain will not return. If there is a stain left over after proper cleaning, like we're doing here, or with a steamer, or whatever you might choose, um, you use the Matrix Coffee Stain Remover out of the same spray bottle and you treat it again. And you uh, repeat until it's gone, usually... I, the most I've had to do it is two or three times, and it will look like this. Completely eradicated of dirt and stains, and it's good to go. As a reminder, when you're finished to pull the seat belt out all the way, clamp it, close the door so it's outside of the vehicle so it can air dry. You don't want your customer coming in, uh, jumping in the car, securing themselves with it, and uh, getting a damp seat belt wrapped around them. They will not be pleased. All right guys, so to clean today's belts, we were assisted by an attachment from one of the um, drill brush sets. I did a video on that uh, a little while back, but I'll put a link down below again for that. It, it, it's the perfect um, bristle as in, not too hard that it frays the fabric or the carpet you're working on, but stiff enough that it gets the work done. It, it's, uh, it, it's a good set. We were also assisted by the Matrix Coffee Stain Remover. Um, it is a product in the line of Matrix Spot, uh, carpet spotting and fabric and upholstery spotting. I will also put a link down below. If you have um, a question on anything we did or any of the products today, don't hesitate to ask. This is Brian from Apex Detail. I'll catch you in the next video.